Hey guys, it's Chris again, and today we are going to be going over another character that I think is very interesting. Now, who is it today? Uh, we are going to be going over somebody that not many people know. Uh, it's going to be Lavos from Chrono Trigger. In case you don't know what Lavos is, uh, Lavos is the main antagonist and also the final boss of Chrono Trigger. He's this parasitic alien that crashed on Earth 65 million years into the past. Lavos is a very interesting name, as La means fire and Vos means big. And he was named this by Isla, who his true name doesn't really have... He doesn't really have a true name, but we don't know what it is if he does. He probably... Well, let's just not go into it that deep... Let's just get into the crazy stuff. Okay, so there are multiple forms for Lavos. So we're going to be focusing on base Lavos. Uh, we're going to be focusing on the Dream Devourer. And we're going to be going over the Time Devourer. So three keys. Strength. There is a calculation for base Lavos' power that I'm going to link in the description. But he rounds out at about solar system level. And this is pretty interesting as it may even be higher since the full power isn't explored. So we could have Lavos at like universal plus base. For uh, Dream Devourer, he was stated to be able to end all of existence. Now, we need to go into depth on how wide existence is. There is a quote saying this, Every... Uh, infinite versions of myself extend like ghosts throughout this endless corridor of time. Everywhere I look, I see another life, another era. In this unfolded existence, I see countless lives and countless dreams. So there's an infinite amount of universes, and Lavos is able to destroy all of them, as he is a threat to every single aspect of existence. And for Time Devourer, he can devour and return to the nothingness of all space-time, and he's far superior to the previous form, the Dream Devourer. He was not only able to fight Surge, equipped with the Chrono Cross, that alone really couldn't have stopped it. And he could have absorbed he could have absorbed Surge and a Chrono Cross if not defeated in the specific way it was defeated by. He's the Dime Devourer, as quoted in his name. So he could absorb and consume the darkness beyond time, which is beyond all all the space-time continuums, as the name suggests. So basically, he was going to eat a realm that transcends the multiverse. So that is inherently fifth-dimensional. So basically, Lavos, as the title or the thumbnail may suggest, might actually have power that transcends that of the infinite multiverse. For speed, base form, we don't have many feats, but he rounds out at about MFTL+. Plus due to being able to travel across entire planets, I believe. For uh, the um, for basically, for the Dream Devourer, he should be immeasurable speed, as he is able to move around in the darkness beyond time, and he exists in it. For the Time Devourer, he compares to ooh, the Chrono Trigger and Cross, and is way superior to his normal uh, Dream Devourer form. So basically, Lavos should be immeasurable speed with forms, but MFTL plus at base. But that's not all. There is actually a thing where Lavos has infinite clones across the entire multiverse, even in base form. So you can argue that Lavos is an omnipresent force across the multiverse, but it's kind of iffy. For durability, he tanks hits from Chrono, who is obviously on his level... He's He has Multiversal Plus durability in Dream Devourer as he was going to survive the entirety of the multiverse getting destroyed right in his face. So he was going to survive the multiversal destruction. And Surge and the Chrono Cross, who are both around 5th Dimensional, weren't able to do Jack to uh, Time Devourer. So basically, Time Devourer would have pretty high into 5th Dimensional durability. But this is where things get crazy. You think all that is insane? The hacks for this thing is absolutely ludicrous. He has a causality. He has darkness manipulation. 
he has a he has cosmic awareness across the multiverse. He is able to manipulate memories. He can manipulate pocket realities. He is a space. His presence alone created a spatial temporal rift to fight in. He can duplicate. He can heal himself. He can amp himself. He can control and manipulate minds. He can negate durability. He has causality manipulation. He can send people across time and space to the end of time or even to non-existence in the darkness beyond time. He has biology manipulation. He can make vo- void immunities. He ha- He's basically immune to the void. He can create portals. He has soul hacks, spatial hacks. And he can kill people on a level where even conventional time travel can't bring them back. He also has molecular hacks, magic, he can drain powers, he has he can seal people, he has blood manipulation, he has age manipulation, he has he has a lot of stuff. Basically, he can rewind time, he can travel through time, he has a lot of stuff. And this is all in base form. As for the Dream Devourer, he can manipulate reality, he can bend concepts, he can consume he can literally consume dreams, memories, and ta- and thoughts across the timelines. He can absorb energy. He can drain. He can literally drain, uh, freaking ro- robots. He can literally drain energy and magic from robots. He can manipulate magnetism. He has passive absorption of magic and energy. He can literally send people to the second dimension. And then there's the fact that he was once conceptually erased than the non-existence of the darkness beyond time. And yet he was able to return from that stuff. So he has like high godly regeneration. Oh, and let's not forget, he can erase people from non-existence. And then there's the fact that he can literally negate all of what I say stated. All those survival abilities that he has, he's able to cannibalize and even kill clones of himself. So he could kill people with high godly regeneration. So then there's the time devourer. He can grant diseases. He has holy manipulation, way superior pocket reality manipulation. He can resurrect. He has a true form. He can analyze people. He can amplify or reduce magic defense, way greater ceiling. And then he has fear, fear manipulation. So basically, Lavos is not only a multiversal plus to even higher multiversal plus threat, which is like fifth dimensional, but he also has a ton of hacks, even in base form. And keep in mind, he has all this stuff, like all that stuff, the eight causality, the cosmic awareness, all that was in base form. And then there was time devour, dream devour, stuff like that. So basically, I do, I would not mess with Lavos if I were you. <laughs> In fact, Lavos is something way beyond what many characters could accomplish. So that's all I have to say for Lavos. If you guys like the video, I would recommend you uh, subscribe, maybe, because I'm going to do a lot more power scaling videos. So yeah, I'll see you all next time. Uh, This is Chris signing out.